Hey guys, okay, so I have been filming up a storm. So if you see several videos in a row when I'm wearing the same clothes, it's because I am. <laughs> I have to um, pre-film, pre-record, all that kind of stuff. And I've got sick kids in this house. So um, I really have to do what I can when I can. Okay, so I wanted to talk about today for Fun Friday, um, my traveling makeup, okay? As you guys may or may not know, because I keep talking about it and I can't shut up about it because I love it so much, I went to Florida for vacation, okay? I'm not a traveling girl. I love to travel, don't get me wrong, but I don't have the funds at all nor the time to just be traveling all the time. I wish I could, like, oh, to have a life of just traveling, traveling, traveling. Oh my goodness, that just, to me, would be the life. But I'd always want to come back home to a home base that I love and... That's how I would love to live my life. Anyway, I did travel and so I did take some products with me and I just wanted to talk about this because for the everyday woman that does travel, I think some of these uh, things might be helpful for you, okay? I took, number one, this is the Au Naturel Face Stack. Um, I have a review on this, so if you're interested, you can take a look at that. But basically you've got three foundations. You've got a La Cream uh, Lip and Cheek Color, Cream Bronzer, and then a face powder, setting powder, finishing powder, whatever you want to say, a powder of some kind. Okay, so I have it in the shade, oh gracious, I don't know. I don't know what shade it is. It is, I think it's the lightest shade, I don't know. Um, let me just see. Um, porcelain, uh, Biscay, and yes it is Biscay, B-I-S-C-A-Y, Biscay. It's not Bisque, but Biscay. And then Honey for the shades on that. And this one came with a the blush lip and cheek color, which is called Sweetheart. And then I think this is just bronzer. I better be careful before I spill my powder everywhere. Uh, Latte is the bronzer. Okay, and just we're I'm gonna try and be quick because I got a ton of stuff in here. Um, so basically everything in one stack. Um, you ha can use this as your bronzer, but also as an eyeshadow, and then all your other um, face products right here. Now, obviously there's not a mascara or whatever, but then you can just bring that with you and it takes up not very much space, very nice, okay. Um, all right, so we'll just go with all face products first. We'll get those out of the way. Then I thought, well, if I want, if I don't wanna use these, because these are very natural looking, um, it's not a full face, full makeup face at all. This is very, very, very natural. Um, and it's not for like full coverage at all. But if I, I thought if I wanted to do a little bit more for coverage, I took the Tarte Found Sealer. Now this is not a high coverage foundation either, either, but it is nice and it looks nice on the skin and I have it in the travel size. That's why I brought it, not because this product is the most amazing thing I've ever used, but because it was a travel size. So if you're interested in travel sizes, Tarte does have a couple of them. Um, they also have the face tape in travel size. I didn't want as much coverage as the face tape because we were going to be at the beach, so I wanted something that was kind of sort of medium coverage, and I think this is more like light. Maybe you could get it to medium coverage, but that's why I brought that. Okay. I also brought this. This is the Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal. This is really a nice concealer, um, and it's great because I've got kids. Um, this is in the shade 08. Mega Conceal 08. It was great for me because it was very um, natural looking. So if I just wanted to do a concealer, I had this. It was easy. I didn't have to un unscrew it from the whole thing. Just take it out, put it on. Um, and the shade is really good for concealing and correcting my under eyes if I didn't want to do anything else for makeup, um, like a natural kind of look, just in case. But it's also a good concealer if I have fuller makeup on. So I brought that. And also, if you have the right shade of a concealer such as this, you can just bring this and then you've got your concealer, your foundation, you can thin it out as a foundation, you can thicken it up as a foundation, um, and you have more coverage, but you have more options because you can thin it or leave it more full coverage. So something like this would be a good option to have so you're not having foundation, concealer, you know, all like a ton of different products. You can just bring this and you're good to go. If you have a good shade. For me, that wouldn't work because I've got so many different things to cover on my face. Again, I also brought the... Um, Kylie Jenner Skin Concealer because of the shade of this what is a good shade for um, under my eyes. Also very, very, very natural looking, beautiful concealer. Okay, same thing um, principle as the other concealer. Any concealer will work, work like that for you again. And I brought this concealer. This is the AOA Studio Liquid Concealer. It's good coverage, but I brought it because I have, I don't know if you can see, yeah, like, can you see right here? 
this right here, the bag of my eye casts a shadow right there. So you can't see it as much when I'm looking straight on because I put this concealer right in this tear trough right here and it just bounces the light off enough so that the shadow doesn't look is you can't really see the shadow as much and so it looks my eye bag looks it makes my eye bag look less pronounced that's what we're trying to say and that's what I brought this for this is also really good as a foundation honestly the shade is good for my um normal skin tone but I did get a little color while I was there and I kind of had to think about that what was going to happen if I was going to get color and I did so this wouldn't have worked as a foundation while I was there but like the first day before we got any sun it would have worked fine as a foundation as well and it's a really pretty as a foundation um I didn't it wasn't like a thick full coverage I didn't wear it that way I wore I wear it more sheared out if I use this one as a foundation plus it's really inexpensive and all these products are pretty inexpensive the most expensive things were would be this one and this this is about twenty dollars but you get everything in it so i can you don't have to figure out on your own if that's if it's worth it to you this is fifteen dollars for about half an ounce 0.33 fluid ounces so less than half an ounce so i mean it just depends you'll have to decide whether that's worth it for you okay um what else do we got all right i didn't bring much else honestly okay so um we'll talk about this a couple of skincare things i transferred my uh daily moisturizer into this pump bottle which is kind of annoying because it doesn't actually pump through the cream's too thick so but that's an option i saw a couple of these at dollar tree like pump bottles but there's also like little other you know travel size containers that you can get just at walmart in the travel section or even you know at a uh, dollar tree or whatever so you can put your um moisturizer in there this product uh, is the milky dress wrinkle and whitening eye cream um, I do not know what's in it it is all Korean looks like but I've been using this around my eyes and I feel like it has been helping maybe the hyperpigmentation I don't know because I didn't do a before and after but I have been using it very regularly and honestly I haven't used it in quite a while probably two weeks because I have had it sitting on my makeup desk waiting to do this travel video and it's not been in my bathroom which is where i usually use it so anyway got i had skincare while i was there um cotton balls everybody needs cotton balls when you go um with your eye makeup remover and other such hair ties all right um let's talk about mascaras i brought these two Two mascaras. Oh, and I also brought this. Let me before we go on to mascaras. I brought this uh, Kat Von D Locket setting powder in the shade translucent because it was a travel size. This is a really pretty powder as well. But the powder in this is really good too. So I just brought this just in case I might want to, you know, have a different have another option. Um, it's just these two are pretty good. Both powders are good. I nothing against them at all. All right, mascaras. This one, the Lash Uprising Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. I got this as a travel size with an order that I placed on the Joa website. They gave me like a little travel pack and this is so good. This is a really good mascara and it's a, it's perfect size as well. So I really like this mascara. So that's what I, why I bought it. I brought this one too, the Morphe Make It Big Mascara, which I don't love, but it was a travel size. So I brought it anyway, just so that I could have another mascara if I wanted another option. I didn't use it at all though. I use this one because I like it better. Okay, a um, couple brushes I brought were this one for concealing. This is a BH Cosmetics. It's a number eight brush, counted in a set. It's just a concealer brush, works really good. I also brought this brush, the BH Cosmetics number three flat top kabuki buffing brush. Um, and honestly, I don't even think I brought any other brushes. I might have. I probably did. I'm thinking I probably brought, um, yeah, let me get them. I brought this brush, which is my blending brush, the Morphe M441 brush, um, to blend out the even the, the cream bronzer that's in here. I, I used it for that. And then I know, oh yeah, I brought this brush for blush. Okay. Um, probably blush and powder. No, I didn't. I brought my favorite powder brush. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I took a lot of my brushes out because I had to use them for makeup since I was on the on the vacation. Okay, 
So this is my favorite powder brush. This is a Victoria's Secret brush and it just came in like a two pack. It's just a, your regular powder brush. It does not matter. I just like it because of how it feels on my face and I, it's no special reasons. Um, and then this is really good for blush, especially, um, did I, I don't think I brought any other blush but this one. Could be wrong. Actually, I probably brought this too. Whoa, I bet you I did. I moved some of my stuff around because I've done videos since then and had to dip out of this bag. Yeah, okay. Even if I didn't bring this, I should have. <laughs> this product right here is really good. Um, it is the Nude Look, Golden Rose Nude Look Baked Trio Face Powder. Okay, you got a blusher, bronzer, and highlight. So if you have something like this that has a decidedly pinky, rosy, cool-toned shade of blush, um, and again, it's a cheek and lip, so you've got cheek and lip on there. Um, so this is your all-in-one. But then you might have another outfit or something that's a bit more on the warm side, peachier side, and you're, you'll need a peachy blush. This is your guy right here. So you get, you have your bronzer that you can use as a bronzer and an eyeshadow. Then you've got this beautiful uh, glowy peachy blush. And then you have this, which you can also use as a highlight but also as an eyeshadow. Like I would put it like right here and I'll just do it just so you guys can see. And now you've got a beautiful makeup look and you've only used one little, or you only had to pack one little item. Okay, it's got everything you need in there. I love palettes like that because it gives you everything and then you have one, one item that has everything. Um, let me just show you a couple of, other things, a couple of lips. Um, again, this is a lip product as well, so that took care of that, but if I needed something peachier or like on the warmer side, I brought this Send Nudes um, Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick, and I love this. I wear this all the time. This is like my favorite nude lip ever. I wear it all the time. Um, love that. So, And also this one I also love is the Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss in the shade Flat White. And this can kind of go either way for um, cool tone or warmer tone. I don't know why, but it's just, it. I, I just can't pinpoint it. It's just, it is warm, but it's also kind of beigey. I'll give you a, so it also is kind of cool. Oh, it's so beautiful, I love it so much. This is excellent for any nude. It's just good, so, and it, you can gloss over a rosy shade or a peachy shade and you're good um and also I thought now this happens to me all the time and what I'll usually do is I'll bring just in case I'll bring a black liquid liner my favorite one is the Profusion Cosmetics Wing It Super Fine Eyeliner because the it is indeed super fine and very black it is a felt tip but it's so fine it just glides right on like as though it were a brush and I'll bring that just in case I want to you know step a notch up a notch for something glam that we're doing which i did not do at all um and i also brought this which is a cargo swimmables um eye pencil in the shade pebble beach and it's really like the darkest stone brown shade but i thought if i want to t kick my makeup up a notch i could just put this right on the edge smudge it out and then you've got an instant smoky eye and this is um, very long lasting, doesn't smudge. I mean, it smudges, but it doesn't smudge off or in the wrong place where once it's set, it's set and it lasts a long time. You know, you could do this a waterline or whatever, and it's not as harsh as like a black, but it's so dark brown that it still is gonna give you that drama if that's what you're looking for. Um, but as so often happens with me, um, I didn't hardly do my makeup at all. Like we, one night we went to church down there cause we were um, there for a week. And so we usually have a Wednesday night service here at our, in our hometown. And so we were gonna, we went to church and do we do Sunday? No, we had sick kids. So we had to stay home on Sunday. It was just, it was kind of sad that we were on vacation and stay home Sunday morning. Yeah, I think we had to stay home Sunday. I can't remember, honestly. Um, but we did go to church while we were there. That's the point. And the point also is that um, 
that was the day that I did my makeup and I didn't even need all these extras. I brought them and this happens to me all the time. If I go out of town, I'm always like, oh yeah, one of the days I'm gonna get all glam and I'm gonna look, you know, have this winged liner and I'm gonna be feeling like real glam. No, I never do. I'm just like, nah, I don't care. I just wanna go to the beach, you know? <laughs> okay, so that's my travel recommendations. If you guys have any comments or whatever, put them in the description or in the script. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk. If you have any comments, put them in the comments and any questions, uh, thoughts, uh, requests and I will try my best to get back with you. I usually am pretty good about it. So um, don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding my bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.